<laughs> Hello. What are you doing here? What What are you doing here? I'm introducing the story. No, I'm introducing the story. My name is Quibbles. My name is Scruff. Uh, would you stop talking? Uh, mm. Today, today, the Bible story, the Bible story. Would you stop talking when I'm talking? Hey, guys. Uh, I can, I can actually take it from here. We're, we're ready to go. So um, it's okay. I'll well, just, I mean, I'll it's, go, it's, okay? I mean, okay. Well, just, No, no, I, I, come trust come me. I'll go. Well, I, I'm well, okay. I've got it from here. Well, okay. Whoa. Well, whoa. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Bible Story Time. Today, we're going to be reading the story called The Singer. Wherever Jesus went, lots of people went too. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, all kinds of people came to see Jesus. Sick people, well people, happy people, sad people, worried people, lots of them worrying about lots of things. What if we don't have enough food or, or clothes or suppose we run out of money? What, what if there isn't enough and everything goes wrong? and we won't be all right, what then? When Jesus saw all the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus sat them all down and he talked to them. The people sat quietly on the grassy mountainside and listened. From where they sat, they could see the blue lake glittering below them and little fishing boats coming in from a night's catch. The spring air was fresh and clear. See those birds over there? Jesus said. Everyone looked. Little sparrows were pecking at seeds along the stony path. Where do they get their food? Perhaps they have pantries all stocked up, cabinets full of food. Everyone laughed. Who's ever seen a bird with a bag full of groceries? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God knows what he needs to do to feed them. And what about those wildflowers? Everyone looked. All around them, flowers were growing. Daisies, pure white lilies. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? Or do they go to work every day so they can buy them? Do they have closets full of clothes? Everyone laughed again. Who's ever seen a flower putting on a dress? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them in royal robes of splendor. Not even a king is that well-dressed. They had never met a king, but as they gazed out over the lake, glittering and sparkling below them, the hillsides dressed in reds and purples and golds, they felt a great burden lift from their hearts. They could not imagine anything in life more beautiful. Little flock, Jesus said, you are more important than birds, more important than flowers. The birds and the flowers don't sit and worry about things, and God doesn't want his children to worry either. God loves to, work, to look after the birds and flowers. He loves to look after you too. Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over the world he had made. Everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, everything. And most of all, his children. Even though people had forgotten, the birds and the flowers hadn't forgotten, they still knew their song. It was the song of all God's creation had sung to him from the very beginning. It was the song people's hearts were made to sing. God made us. He loves us. He is very pleased with us. It was why Jesus had come into the world, 
to sing to them that wonderful song, to sing it not only with his voice, but with his whole life, so that God's children could remember it and join in and sing it too. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time for another episode of Bible Story Time.